Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we are back with another episode of Days Gone. And we are playing on Survival 2, guys. Um, so, you know, things are things are getting pretty rough. Things are getting pretty freaking rough. Now, if you missed the last episode or you want to be reminded of what is going on, then guys, we we went uh, and met O'Brien. We met up with O'Brien for the first time. And, um, you know, he is going to go and find out, you know, what may have happened to Sarah. And he's going to get back with us on that. Now, I'm debating whether or not we're going to go check out this historical marker. I don't think we're going to. I just don't think we're going to do it. Now, what we are going to do is head down here to Copeland's uh, camp and, um, yeah, and, and um, you know, get in touch with him. Because we've been hanging out with, uh, we've been hanging out in Tucker's camp for quite some time now. And, ooh, this looks pretty nasty here. That is one big pile of shit. Just passing through. Nothing to see here. What was Deacon saying there? I couldn't even hear it. Like, is my dialogue... Hold on a second. I think my dialogue settings might be, like, super low. Let's see, audio settings, dialogue. Let's just... Let's put that up a little bit. Put that up just a... Just a scotch. There we go. There we go, yeah. Hmm. Because I don't want to be able to hear what they're saying when they're saying stuff. Now, if you're just tuning in for the first time, then uh, do note that we are running uh, not a whole lot of mods. Basically, the only mod that is affecting gameplay is a weapon rebalance mod, and that does include the ability to equip your shotgun in a special slot, which is why I've, I have a rifle and a shotgun. So that's that's really the only thing uh, that is affecting gameplay. We're also um, running the not a reshade mod that uh, does affect a little bit the way that the game looks. So that's pretty much it. It's, it's gent gently modded, I would say. Gently modded. Now, we are... Well, actually, we got a decent bit of gas. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest, that our gas tank seems to be lasting a little bit longer than, um, well, than I really thought it, or than I remembered it lasting, like, when we first started playing. Um, I might swing into camp real quick and do the old fill up a Rooney. Muchas gracias. What's going on? Yeah, I'll go ahead and turn in whatever I've got here. Yeah, let's sell these because I wouldn't mind getting uh, getting this up to the next level. That's it. Because then we could get some, you know, gas tank and all that other crap upgrades. Not realizing that they were just as bad. Get some good shit if you're buying. I am buying. Nice. Hook me up, bro. Anything else I can get for you? That'll last you. All the things. I wish they had a button for, like, you know, all ammo. That would be cool. One upgrade coming up. That would be pretty freaking sweet. All right. See ya. And now, we did want to actually... Uh, let's go ahead and repair. What's up, Manny? But... Whoops. We did want to go into our... Well, no, not that. We wanted to go into here and check out our custom accents. What? Hold on. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Custom accents. And we had unlocked... Let's see. Chasing Leon. What was it that we activate, got that was, like, kind of cool? Some of these are kind of neat. Let's see. Concrete... God of War. Gods of War. May your hammer be mighty. God of War. What's that one? Broken Road. The dead don't ride. Yeah, let's grab that one for now. I want to get some that I didn't that I didn't really run in the uh, in my other playthrough. So, 
this is one that I did not run before, so let's do that. Okay. Back to work. Indeed. Indeed, Manny. You're a good man. Good man. He's a good man. A flatulent man. Hey, hold on. How'd you pull gate detail? I mean, I'm not saying that that's like a bad thing. It's probably a pretty sweet gig. Well, hold on a second. Let's let's swing over here. I mean, I'm gonna I'll grab these when we're like right next to them. Uh, that being said, hold on a second. I'm like, right, yeah, I'm right on top of this thing. When we actually like are like so close that you can't miss them. I never knew that. We'll grab them. And then if we get to the point where, if we get to the point where there's only like a couple of them at the end, then I'll grab them. Cause it's like, you know, it would be kind of cool to, to get all of them, but I don't want to, I don't want to go too far out of my way. I'm playing it right now. Oh man, wolves. I'm playing it right now because I just really wanted to play some more. Not really because I want to, you know, get all of the. It's a new day. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, You'll see the signs. I feel like they were maybe uh, they took away my guns. Um, I feel like they were maybe like wanting to, or maybe initially thinking about when they made this quest, like making hunting more significant but it's just it's, okay, it's just really not see this pile of deer scat it's fresh yeah i see it they lead this way <laughs> yeah i can see that well come on man like the the reward for oh wait hold on give me give me the gun i want to take the shot i see one right there sneak cope one my goodness quick there's your buck i see him give me the gun now here Use my rifle. If you were in the tenth mountain, you know how to use a scope. Uh, I don't know how to move. Apparently, okay. I need to stand up. I mean, this is just not working out. This is this is not. We're not. We're not getting it done here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cope. I know how to use a scope. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Now, everybody, calm down. Easy, easy. I got this. Shooting right to Keister. Come on, put your head back up. Put your head right back up. Got him. Nice shot. Uh, man, man, that was a good shot too. Shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. I kind of. He's got to track him. Okay. Yep, yeah, he's dead right there. I see him. I think. I, I think. I see the blood spots. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, I remember this from last time. I, I, I think that the exact Fall. same thing happened. On it. I, I was thinking that you might be able to actually like drop him right there. Right Losing too much blood. Hold E. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. He was right over here somewhere. Somewhere about. There it is. Okay. You know how to gut an animal? Yeah, Basically. Look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but 
You got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Yeah, you know, then maybe you shouldn't have let Deacon, like, inefficiently butcher that deer. If you needed more venison. <laughs> you wasted a whole lot of meat there. <laughs> we need venison. Desperately. People are dying. People. Okay, so we didn't really use any of our ammo, so we're good. That being said, we need a little bit of gas. Refuel. Why did we have to repair it? What did we do? Was it the water? <laughs> the water. Okay, so let's see. What do we got going on here? Uh, I think when we go out, people will start radioing us and going nuts. That's what I think is going to happen. All right, I'm seeing you. We'll see what happens, though. All right. How's it going, booze man? Fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. We could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. You, uh, you remember what you're doing? Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Cope? Oh, shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Dean. See you, booze man. Ah, fresh meat. That ought to do it. Alright, where is... Um, hold on a second. Return to Boozer. Oh, okay, I guess apparently I've got enough. Okay, I just gotta get this back to Boozer. We've already got enough meat. I, yeah, because I haven't sold any of the meat that we've been harvesting, so that definitely saves some time. Driving like a madman. Like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Goblin, make it quick, because I'm almost to my destination. That does not sound good. Okay. Hey, That's enough. Man, That's enough. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, we could do something to preserve it, because uh, I don't think this stuff stays uh, for pretty much any time at all. Okay, so what else do we got going on? Oh, man, we got a... We've got to head all the way back to check on Lisa. So we've got ourselves a bit of a ride here, but there's there's literally nothing else for us to do here. So that's that's the way of it, guys. That's the way of survival when survival too. And uh, well, I mean, there's, <laughs> there's nothing that can be done, guys. There's nothing that can be done. Now we are at 78. We might as well, I think there's a gas tank somewhere around here. Might as well fuel up. 
because, well, it's probably a good idea. Now, actually, I do want that. Let's go ahead and grab that. All of the supplies, guys. All of the supplies. Kind of feel bad about blowing up our gas tank reserve over there. Let's see. Do we have any skill point? We do have a skill point that we can burn off here. Let's see. Increase the ammo capacity for all ranged weapons. That one would be good. Actually, though, I think that it's this mod is designed for you to not take that. I'm going to have to look that up again. I don't think that you are supposed to take this because I think it kind of breaks the way that this mod is balanced. Um, so uh, basically, I think that this mod is already kind of, you already sort of, the, the weapons already kind of have more ammo. And if you get this, it basically like changes the way that all that works. Uh, I don't know though. I'll have to look it up. Anyway, uh, increases projectile penetration for ranged weapons and headshot kills recover health. Um, okay. So I think, um, I think I might actually go into a new branch right now because I think that there's some other stuff that we could actually use. Um, yeah, they're double plants. That could be useful. Cool down on stamina recovery. Useful. Useful. Um, definitely useful. And then the melee, um, being able to repair would be nice. It really would. Um, although that being said, we haven't really gotten to the point where we're getting, um, where we're getting good, like really good weapons. So I don't really care about that. So I do think that we're going to go for the survival one, reduce the cooldown on stamina recovery, because that's just, um, that's just really nice. So let's grab that skill tier three unlocked. Uh, so we still need to get two, three additional skills for this crap. Gee whiz. Okay. Whatever, whatever. We'll do it. I'll play your game. Might be a little bit different because, uh, you know, it seems like that that tree works a little bit different on survival. Just because, you know, we can't, there's so many of those skills that we can't get. And so, you know, that's just, that's just the way of it. Looks like it unlocks the tiers faster uh, because, you know, you just can't get all of the skills. Oh, don't jump at me, bro. Might should make a gas stop here. Where are we at? 82? I mean, that's actually not bad. Here we go. Never gets old. It's not bad, but it still takes not much time when the gas is right there. And I really, really don't want to get into a situation where we run out of gas. I've been there, done that. And I don't want that to happen on uh, ramming speed. Eat that. But we can ram one. Coming through. Uh, just kind of let them do their thing. Oh, well, no, we don't need any more gas. We're good. We're good. We are golden. Pardon me. Wait, where? Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on a second. Let's see if we can do this, because the survivor would be good to get. Good night. Oh. 
Holy crap. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, you're good, dude. That didn't even look like it was a hit to me. Dude. Seems like head seems like headshots are harder on okay, here we go. this level of difficulty or at least I'm, I'm maybe i'm getting worse it's okay you're not gonna make it out here i know where there's a camp yeah sh camp what camp show me where uh copeland's camp peaceful lake mark copeland it's safe there uh, i was a goner thank you thank you man i, th I thought it was over thank you thank you Thank you. <laughs> Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. Yeah, I can't... Guys, I really can't imagine sending anyone to Hot Springs. Yeah, always. Like, for real? Like, in, unless... Unless there's just something going on and you're, you're just... I don't know. Oh, we gotta repair our bike. Holy crap. I, I guess ramming that... Uh, ramming that... Um, freaker really damaged the freaking bike. What I can do? Not good. Not good. They haven't set up a whole bunch of ambushes, you know, like with the with the wire uh, uh, or rope or whatever strung across the road yet. So, I mean, we got to keep our eyes out for that. They're lulling us into a false sense of security. That's the way I see it. No, oh, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. You never know when one of those is going to like actually jump at you. So best to just keep your distance. That sounded like there were some that were pissed over there. Boom! Uh-oh. That was close. If that was one of the jumpers, that would have been bad. That would have been bad. All right. Well, we still got pretty good gas here, guys. I wonder if they made your gas tank l just last a little bit longer on survival too. Deacon, Sandy, we're gonna run out of this someday, you know. Well, it, it's not gonna affect me. Don't worry. Don't you worry about me, buddy. <laughs> See ya. I'm good to go. safe here I have to work okay okay my goodness guys you know if it ever if it ever comes to it you know, and we're ever in some kind of a post-apocalyptic type scenario. Do me a favor, you know, and just don't be a dick. Just try to not be a dick. You know, and actually, you know, go ahead and do me a favor. Just 
in general, you know, in this at least arguably pre-apocalyptic situation that we're living in right now. <laughs> Not arguably. I mean, hey guys, I'm sitting here playing a computer game. I definitely have no cause to complain. But, but, don't be a dick. Just don't be a dick. And that, and that definitely includes freaking gulag, gulagging people and work camping people. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. As a rule, don't do that crap. Okay? Avoid it. Avoid it. Okay? You know, just a little tidbit. Don't be a piece of crap. Okay. So that was, we drove a long way for that. We drove a long way for that. Now, let's go ahead and see. I don't think that uh, there's anything here that we How's need that we don't camper? have. Okay. Same as ever. Um, <laughs> Lil Stubby. No, I do not believe that we need that. We do not need that. The Stinger. It's got the stinger has more range and a higher rate of fire, but less damage and less accuracy. And it does have more magazine. I don't know, but this is All fine. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll we're, we're gonna hang out with this. Let me know if you need anything else. Guys, I I had the COVID. I mean, this is a completely different situ topic. <laughs> I had the COVID a couple weeks ago, and man, you know, I heard you know like a lot of people get a lot of symptoms that that hang around, like they lose their sense of smell or their sense of taste for like a really long time, or any other number of things that hang around. But guys, I still have this persistent cough, and I, I'm I try to do my best to edit it out of the videos, but like man, I, I've been coughing. <laughs> This whole series, like every single one of the survi uh, the Survival 2 series, I've been coughing the whole time. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I managed to get it edited out. But man, I just was horking up a lung a couple seconds ago. This is just bad. Bad news bears. Okay, someone contact me. I don't know where to go. Contact me. I'm so lonely. I, li I literally don't know where to go right now. get off the bike and see if someone contacts us run around a little bit run around do something two hours later I don't remember having really any dead time in the uh, in my last playthrough pretty much people would always contact me and be like hey you wanna go do something <laughs> and I was like well I mean it depends what you want me to do. It really depends what you need done. Take the gun. You've got to go after it now. They're getting away. Go after who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with me on an Alvarez. Alright, I'll see if I can track it down. We took our drugs. Those bastards. I learn something new every day. Three fingered Jack. Old hot fingers. Don't look like there's anything else up here. Okay, so where does they... Okay, where does they want me to go? Fortunately, guys, we were pretty much heading in the right direction. But we did burn up quite a bit of fuel getting up here. That being said, we should be able to mostly coast down this mountain. And we're coasting fast. But I don't think this uses any gas. I 
I don't think it uses pretty much any at all. So that worked out pretty well. We got almost the whole way. What do we have here? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Okay, let's take a look around. What do we got? Baller bars. Oh, got this. Tucker, I spotted him and it looks like he was, uh, like he was waiting for someone. <laughs> yeah, screw that bike chase. <laughs> See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. That's how I roll. No. No, I I didn't do nothing. That's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? No. No, no, no. Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke. Uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Yep. That worked out pretty well, guys. Hey, Tuck. I got him. Mark down these coordinates and have Alki sense him. what you did to Leon, okay, Deke? Uh, He's alive. Please, man. Did he have my drugs? Um, he might have him stashed in the old prison wallet, but I'm not checking. You and me, we was friends. Please, please. Hey, Boozman, you there? Yeah. Crazy question. Any idea where I can find a thunder egg? What the hell for? The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't know. Maybe Miriam Forks. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Are we near are we near any of that crap? Um, uh, okay. We are sort of near that. Let's see. How how's our gas? Let's go, let's swing up here and grab some gas. We know there's petrol over here. Dude, what are you guys doing? What do you think you're freaking doing? God. Holy freaking crap. That works. I gotta reload. <laughs> I mean, they're freaking newts. Like, usually they don't. I mean, sometimes you encounter newts that just come after you. That that zombie over there is freaking out. Uh, let's go. No, thank you, dude. No, thank you. I'm not buying what you're selling. Not interested. Come back later. Finish burning out these nests. Dude, he says that whenever we go through here, but I cannot. Whoa, actually, is that it right there? No, that's just the way that the light was hitting that looked a little bit weird. All right, whoops. A little off-road detour. No big deal. No big deal. Everybody, everybody calm down. Okay. Yeah, we need to we need to get back on the road over there. This ain't good. This ain't this isn't right. Is this even a road? What is I think the road is not where we are. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't cool. 
Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that was kind of cool. Oh, hey, a, a... One of those little points that we can check out. What are the historical markers? Is that what they are? Coming through. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Whoa, look at that jump right there. Holy crap. We might actually have to check that out. That, like, what's the point of it? Just because? Wait, I hear a horde. Oh, I see a horde. Holy crap. Okay, let's let's no. I don't want to be right here. Gift shop. Got to be one in here somewhere. Let's let's stop farting around and let's deal with what needs to be deal, dealt with here. Okay, who else wants a piece? I have come here to kill you all. Oh, we got friends coming in from the rear. Let's get a nice shot off on this guy. There we go. It was a good flick shot right there. Okay, what do we got going on here? You want some, bro? Oh, shoot. Okay. Now, how did we get in here before? Oh, there's literally a way right there. Let's just hope that that horde, you know, keeps its distance. I can freaking hear it. That really is making me feel like a, a little bit antsy, guys. A little bit antsy in the old pantsy, if you know what I mean. Okay, anything else that we need to be doing or seeing here? Uh, there's a bunch of historical markers up in these parts. I want to get a little bit closer to that horde and take a look at it because um, taking a horde out, you know, is always a, a good thing if we can, if we can swing it. But we will have to clean out some of the riffraff kind of around the area if we're gonna. Jeez, it's a lot louder than my rifle. That kill that dude. Oh, that, that, that brought the horde. That brought the horde. We're going, we're going, we're going. Run, run, run. I don't know if... I think the horde just kind of heard me. I don't think they, like, really saw me, though. Okay, let's kind of... Oh, balls. Stay back, you piece of crap. I need to remember I've got that shotgun. I just don't... I don't ever think about it, because... I never, and I didn't really ever carry one in the other, in my other playthrough, but I definitely need to use it. Okay, I'd like to have a look at the, at the horde without, oh, I don't have this, I don't even have this thing loaded up properly. Okay. Let's see what we got. We, we, I think we've successfully cleared out the riffraff now. Now we've got a gas tank. 
that can definitely be used to at least some effect. Let's kind of get a look, see. It actually doesn't look like the biggest horde. I think that this, I think we've got a chance at this one, especially since I, I can probably get in this grass here. I think, let me see, uh, we're gonna want sidearm suppressor here. I think we've got a chance at this horde, guys. Are you serious? That guy saw me? Holy balls. Run, run, run. We gotta go. We've got to 100% go. That really, I, I have no idea how they saw me when I was in that grass, but they did. They did. They did. That did not work. That did not work. Not even a little bit, guys. Man, I thought, I was like, this horde's really small. We're going to be able to take them, no problem. Okay. There's some grass over on this side. I mean, I, I really want to get a good, like, a tractor um, Molotov off on them. But it seems like they're like extra sensitive. I don't know what's going on here, man. Uh, we do not have a. Get on it. Taste the flames. Oh, that was a freaking good one. Give him that as well. Holy freaking crap. Did I not actually reload my gun? I think we killed like the whole freaking shebang with that. That was a massacre. <laughs> that was a freaking massacre. Okay. See if we can find any more of them around here. Was that like not actually a horde? That was definitely a horde, guys. It just wasn't a huge horde. That sucks. We have the situation where one of them must have gotten broken off from the from the pack. Oh, balls. No, that that's that's the rest of them. That that must be I think we can take them though. Especially, there should be a gas tank in this mess. Oh shoot, nope. Oh, if they get close, we got the shotgun. Nice, guys, we did it. We freaking did it. Yeah, 1500 trust. Not bad. I will take it. I don't know why that 
I guess that I guess the horde just decided to to split up there. Now where is the gas tank? Cause yeah, there it is. Nice. Didn't even end up having to use that. That was <laughs> kind of uh, snapping victory from the jaws of defeat there. Almost the opposite. Almost the opposite. That kind of went a little bit balls up. Now, do we, do we, hold on a second, let's quick save it. I, I kind of want to do this jump. Kind of want to do this jump. Oh, actually, I want this bottle too, though. Because we used a little bit of resources here. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> I don't even want to know what would happen if we missed that. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> this is the right way. Um, we'll, we're going to make a, a quick detour uh, to that historical marker. Just because we're trying to hit ones that are convenient. I figure with all of our driving back and forth, if we if we do just grab convenient ones then we'll we'll probably be pretty dang close by the end of this whole ordeal that's kind of interesting yeah very interesting is that a no that's a, that's a desiccated carcass it's interesting how you can't find like friendly people out I mean, you know, like fighting to survive, really. Well, no, I guess I guess you occasionally find, like, a guy who's, like, you know, about to die. You know, like the survivors that you can send to camps. But you never find, like, a group of people who are, are you know, um, just kind of wandering and not wanting to kill you. Which, which does make things simple. It's like, if you see someone out in the wild, you can go ahead and pull the trigger. It, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, next time open that faster. Bet you're here for your bike, right? No. We got gas if you need it. There you go. Needs a tune-up. <laughs> like, it's... Yeah, dude, nice just get by. used to it, man. It's your freaking job. We'll have to swing back by here and get some ammo, probably. But apart from that, we're doing pretty good. Lisa, I... Go away. Brush or something. That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. She seemed to be doing, well, okay, not psychologically. She actually seems to be doing psychologically better here. Like, just depressed. <laughs> but, like, eh, she seemed like she might have had a screw or two loose in Marion Forks. But, like, in terms of taking care of herself, she seemed to be taking care of business. You know, I mean, I'm just going to call it how I see it, guys. She was getting the job done. You know, she was, she was definitely... Uh, capable, capable, and uh, you know, as we, as we see, you know, at the end of the story here, you know, she is uh, at least physically capable of of doing what needs to be done, but uh, but yeah, she she's a little bit um, not uh, um. Yeah, she's troubled. She's troubled. Let's just put it that way. She's troubled. Hey, how's it going? 
How's it going, Zanny? But uh, anyway, guys, I do think that that is where we are going to wrap up for this one. Uh, I'm not exactly. Oh, actually, never mind. It did give us a new uh, new quest all the way back near Copeland's camp, not all the way back at Copeland's camp, but near Copeland's camp. I'm kind of hoping that we'll, once we pop out of here, they're going to give us more crap to do. But um, but yeah, that's kind of the the downside, I guess you'd say. Um, honestly, at least so far, I would say that's the, like the biggest inconvenience of, of survival too, is just the lack of fast travel. It's, you know, like when you were just dealing, when we were just dealing with Copeland's camp, eh, it's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. You can, fa you can get around, you know, like from here to here, that's like, I don't know, that's probably less than a minute um, on motorcycle, you know, motorcycle drive from here to here. That's probably like three and a half, four, maybe even five minute drive. Uh, so like when, when you start having to do that, like multiple times, uh, you know, it starts to become a little bit of a pain. Uh, but that being said, I mean, I have to admit it is more immersive. It is more immersive than just being able to be like, you know what? I'd like to go here just to, you know, like fart around and see if there's something there. Click, <laughs> I'm there. Then click, I'm back here. Click, I'm there. Click, I'm there, you know? And you can just click all over the place and be, you know, wherever you want. Um, you know, even though they're, you're gas limited, I, well, I could click here, then I click back here and fill up, then click over here. You know what I mean, guys. You know how you know how it is. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that play style. I'm a, I'm a fast travel uh, <laughs> aficionado. I definitely love the fast travel. But, um... But we're doing survival too to kind of Im immerse ourselves in the, the the ultimate days gone experience here. That's what we're doing. But anyway, guys, that is where we're going to call it for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching. We're going to be picking up right here next time. <laughs>